Today at Bonsai by the Samurai, I will be trimming 30% of the foliage off of this uh, newly styled Bogavilia, purple flowers in color, and I will be repotting it into its new pot, which I'll show you shortly. And cat, cat facing you is the front. So, let us begin. Now, since most of this work appears to be boring, after I say what I'm saying right now. I will speed through it with the film. So. This is what came off, and now I need to prepare for the transplant. First thing we want to do is check and see what kind of wiring we have down here, and it's not strapped in. Well, we start this next segment with our root sickle to get it out of the pot. There don't seem to be any wires holding it in. Now, the screen down there might be holding it in, but we'll find that out in a second. Let me just slowly go around the edge of the pot. This was just repotted last year. And I probably would go ahead and just leave it. But I want to get it into this more feminine looking pot even though they're pretty much the same size and almost the same color but one of them has curves where this is a more of a, a masculine pot for a, a conifer or something of that nature Actually, going to try to put one of my crazy-looking yuccas in this pot after I get this thing out. So here we go. I'll try to move it back and forth. The first thing I'm going to do is move it off the bucket to get more stability. to 
get a look inside the pot here. Back up on the bucket so that you can see it. And it's sort of balanced over the bucket, so you got the main here. Now, as you've seen in so many films, we normally start around the base of the tree, which we call the Nabari. And now this uh, is a very young bogey, purple in color. I acquired it from Lowe's back in 2014 in a one gallon pot, plastic pot. And uh, it was like $8. I actually got like three or four of them that year. I only have two of them still with me. And you saw the, the orange one get repotted a couple weeks ago. One of my little one minute films because it was going into a much larger pot. It's planted over a rock. And uh, when you plant something over a rock, you give it a, uh, a wider looking nabari right off the bat. It's almost like a phoenix grab, except it's more accepted than a phoenix grab. So you can see the roots look really good on this. It really liked its trim job and it's rewiring this thing, spraying more buds than I've seen it do in ages. Of course, I'm fertilizing it real well. Probably won't take off too much here. Just enough to kind of renew it. I'm not going to wash the roots. Um, we had Mike Lane come over to the Cypress Lake Bonsai Club and he was critiquing trees and he was talking about the bogies that we should only take off like 30% of the foliage before we repot them. And if we're gonna wash the roots, we should only do it the first time out. And if he's watching, I would hope that he might make a comment that, yes, that's what I said. <laughs> and I would really appreciate all of you making comments about uh, this site, or this channel, Bonsai in general. I first started Bonsai back in 1976 uh, when the, uh, I was living in the Maryland area just outside of Washington, D.C. And lo and behold, 1976, Japan up and gave the United States 53 magnificent Bonsai trees. And so I live very close to the National Arboretum. So I would go down there and look at the trees and the next thing you know, I'm digging up an azalea out of my the cemetery where I work, and I do not have that azalea with me anymore. I do have a photograph, uh, which I'm not going to include in this film. Uh, I'm not sure any of you really like to see my old photographs. They haven't been well accepted, but uh, it would really help me if you would... Uh, like the video, uh, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I know most of you have not, because uh, I would have a lot more subscribers than what I have, even though I'm happy with the ones I got, and I appreciate them, and uh, if they have some counsel for me, I wish they would just make a comment. Perhaps you would just like me to basically shut up. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Then I'm going to speed through the rest of this.
here is the pot that's been selected as you can see it has screens and guide wires maybe you didn't see it but there it is this is a rather old pot for me it dates back to 1989 when I got this uh, at an auction with a ponderosa pine in it we're going to start off with some uh, bonsai jack all-purpose bonsai soil in the bottom get it mounded up and let's see how the tree fits in there before we go any further now let's see which side is the best front yeah, they're pretty much the same except we got like a little chip there so we'll make this the front of bonsai now as I said before it's the cat that determines the front so that tells me that this tree should be turned this way to get the front so we can have the cat with his tail in up against the uh, tree and I actually have a cat that likes to do that not with this tree necessarily but other ones and uh, Now we're going to start introducing this new soil, this red river rock, as the next layer. This is the stuff that will actually be tucked up under the roots. Now at this stage, notice the tree is a little off, so I'm going to reposition it using a rather wide bamboo chopstick. I'm going to work the soil down under the edges of the roots. nice and tight and keep working that soil down this stage, we're going to wire it into the pot. Uh, 
Everybody likes to see this little thing here. Oh, if I could pick it up. Oh, there you go. Wow. Now, I'm going to make some of you cringe now because this next layer of soil is actually going to be the old soil that I cleaned out the roots out of. Not every root. But the tree did so well in it. And... I'm a believer in recycling, especially with bonsai soil. I didn't see any uh, varmints in this soil previously, so I'm going to just trust in the Lord and my old soil here. had some misfortunes with other trees in this pot. I wouldn't call it a killer pot, but you say I had some misfortunes with it. And it's not because I used old soil. Previously I've tried all kinds of different things, different kind of trees. Of course, the last tree that died in this pot was a, a big jade. I don't know if you can see this behind me here, but these are the cuttings off the jade that rotted out. This pot has a tendency to really hold in the water, and I know bogeys like it. So it's not a matter of the pot. It's us trying to regulate the water that each particular tree gets. So the good thing about Bogavilla is they kind of love water. Then again, you hear people say that they won't even flower if they're getting too much water. So I, I'm still learning. This is only you know, the ninth year that I've had this. So, And then I'm going to top it off with this uh, Red River Rock just to give it a, a nice look. I get all this uh, generated in here. Of course, this soil had previous nutrients in it. The main thing that we're doing when we're repotting is giving the tree the opportunity to breathe again. That's what happened to my oak. The uh, soil became so dense that it couldn't breathe. So that's one of the main reasons that we repot is so that we can aerate the soil and uh, that's kind of what we're doing right here right now aerating the soil I'm just an old country boy I've lost a lot of bonsai over the year I've had some beautiful ones I sold a few. 
I've won awards, but I'm just a little country boy that belongs to a local club now, the Cypress Lux Bonsai Club. Uh, you're all welcome to become members if you wish. If you live in the Wesley Chapel, Zephyr Hills, Lakeland, it's in Lakeland. But I live in Plant City right now, so if you're in that region, it's, uh, it's like 20 miles from where I live. And we have uh, driveway bonsai every Thursday. We don't have a meeting. And we get out and we go to different places. One of the places we'll be going uh, soon will be the DNL Bonsai Day on May 11th. As I mentioned in my last video, and then to the uh, the big convention up at the Florida Hotel in Orlando, we'll be going there. I'll be trying to take a little film footage there for everybody to see. Uh, but you know, you need to get out and experience it. So, more of the Red River Rock, and yeah, don't let my bald head blind you there. Yeah, I try to be funny every once in a while. And sometimes I'll preach to you. But I know you don't like that. No, you don't like that. Every time I preach, somebody decides they want to run for the hills and unsubscribe from me. Well, I'm not in this for the money. I'm in this so that I can have a detailed record of my trees on YouTube that I can watch later on if I need to and see what I did. So, here we are. I'm going to take this over to the turntable and uh, I'll water it and I'll show you the watering. Well, here we are watering it in. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the, the back side of it. This is one side of it. Around to the front and to the other side. Well, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know, all these videos go to help people that are doing the same thing. So you guys have a great day and uh, thank you for watching.